everyone. If you're a fan of the crab ragoon from your local Chinese restaurant, you're going to want to stick around for this video. I finally figured out a recipe that tastes just like the ones I get from the restaurant down the road, but I can make them much cheaper at home. Plus, I know exactly what goes in them and there's no MSG. If you want to make these, I'm going to leave the amounts of the ingredients down in the description box. So be sure to check that out. We have cream cheese, imitation crab. Now you could use real crab if you want, but I feel like you don't get the taste of the ragoon that you get in the restaurant if you don't use the fake stuff. Wonton wrappers, green onions. I'm using sweet white onion, some egg wash, which is just an egg and it has some water mixed in my brush and then white sugar. Also, I have my deep fryer here. You can just use a pan of oil if that's what you have. I find it easier to use this. I love this. All right, so first up, I have just a strainer here with just a bowl. And I have my onions that I minced up. I'm gonna dump them in here. You wanna try getting some of the moisture out because you don't want too much moisture in your mixture. So we're just gonna press it out a little bit. And you should see a little bit coming out the bottom. You don't want them completely dry. So we're just gonna push them a little bit. Gonna set that bowl aside, bring our cream cheese over. And I'm just gonna put those onions right in there. And also we're gonna add in our green onions. Can you see them? Green onions. Party in the bowl. Green onions are one of my top favorite ingredients. I just love the flavor. And then with cream cheese, cream cheese is definitely right up there. So before we add in the crab, we're also gonna add in one tablespoon of white sugar. This just gives it a sweet taste if you've had them. Now, I don't know how your restaurant makes them, but mine have a sweet cream cheese taste. So that is what I'm going with. That's my favorite. Now we're just gonna give that a mix. My cream cheese, I softened some of it, but some of it's still a little hard. So I'm just gonna kind of pulse it on and off just so there isn't cream cheese on the floor, the ceiling, and the walls. Because trust me, I've done that. a little bit get that all back in the bowl we don't want to mess everywhere Got to put it over there now we're just gonna mix in our imitation crab just spoon it in there Let's get started I have my wontons here I'm gonna lay a couple out you don't want them to dry out so these ones are a little bit beat up. I don't know what the heck happened to those. So make sure your package is closed when you're not using it. You're just gonna get your egg and just do the sides a little bit. I kind of just do, just quick. Okay. That's good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take some of the mix and just put it in the center. Can you no use another spoon if you want? These are just for me. I don't care if I'm touching them. My hands are clean, I just washed them. So now we are just going to take it and you're going to fold this over so it marries the other side. And we're gonna bring this one up to match it. Sorry guys, the camera does not want to focus. And you're just gonna pinch the edges. And then you have the other side that's still open and you're gonna push that. It gets focusing finally. And then it's gonna be like this. Listen, I'm German and Polish, so this is the best my wontons get. I'm just gonna set them over here on this parchment I have and finish the rest. So I'm going to do this quick because my battery is dying. I'm just going to put this down. I'm going to put them in. And 
Listen to that beautiful sizzling of all that grease just soaking into the wonton. Oh my God, I know these are so fattening guys, but <laughs> I love them. So good. I'd rather eat these than, than be a size two. I mean, if I could be both, that would be perfect, but if I had to choose one, we're going with the yummy appetizers. Because as you know on this channel, I love food and there's no exceptions. Oh my gosh, guys, look at those babies. They look so good. I can't wait to eat them. Normally, I have to have one as soon as they come out and I end up burning my mouth. But dang, it is worth it. Okay, these, these look good. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull it out and put it on my tray with paper towel. And look how delicious these look. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat it. It's really hot. I'm gonna let it cool. I'm gonna control myself and I'm gonna finish the other ones up. Okay guys, here we go. It's nice and crispy. Mm. Mm. So good. I don't like eating on camera, but you see that? Mm. You do that and then you go like this. Mm. 